Welcome to City Snippet. Today we visit the Moynihan Train Hall. Even though it was a chilly day, we decided to walk along the Hudson down to the, the new train station. And I was glad we did because we came across this glammed up sort of area of Hudson Yards with extra lights and these little balloon things lit up and it's just extra sparkly and um, it was a little cheery for a winter day walk. But then we headed east over to the James A. Farley building. It's a Beaux-Arts building between 8th and 9th avenues and 31st and 33rd streets, aka the post office building. This new train hall opened on January 1st of 2021, and it's named after former Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan, who had the idea of repurposing part of the post office for an impressive train hall. And all of its steel, glass, and marble, it is impressive. Its main hall is almost the size of Grand Central Terminal's main hall, and it has a central hanging clock designed by architect Peter Panoyer. It's a slightly art deco kind of vibe, 12 feet tall and six feet wide. We were actually on a mission to go check my post office box, so we headed east internally, and we came across this interesting museum sign, which I'll have to do some research what that's gonna be. But the main post office area now is covered in this scaffolding. I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but for now there won't be any beautiful shots of the ceiling. We then exited the post office, looking over at the Corinthian columns, and headed into the southern entrance of the Moynihan Train Hall. I knew that there was public art to be found, so we wanted to explore and find it. This was on a Saturday in January of 2021, and you can see how empty it is during this time. But then we came upon The Hive, the upside-down city artwork. It's by Elm Green and Dragset from Berlin, and it's near the 31st Street entrance. This installation includes nearly 100 upside-down buildings and is made of aluminum in a mirrored base. Some of the buildings have lights within them, and the largest one is nine feet tall. It was actually shipped from Germany and weighs more than 30,000 pounds. We wanted to keep exploring, so we headed up the stairs and took in the different lines, like these escalators and wide staircase and the, the arching glass and metal ceiling. And then we came upon my favorite, the artwork Go. This beautiful hand-painted and backlit stained glass triptych is by the artist Kehinde Wiley and is at the 33rd Street entrance. The artist wanted to play with the language of ceiling frescoes and celebrate black culture, and it has a modern, joyful feeling. It includes pigeons and dancing young people with a blue sky background. We exited that 33rd Street entrance, and we looked east toward the Empire State Building and looking at this renovated building and the new train hall and walking back west, I reflected on how things continually change in New York City. These changes are one of the things that encourage me to keep going on these wanders, but I'll say goodbye to the train hall for now. <laughs>